Becoming an elite NCAA athlete is not easy. Eastern Mennonite runner Ryan Gaiman works hard to compete at a high level, but for him, running is more than just something he does. It's an important part of his life, a part of his life he wants to share. Running, absolutely. It's where I feel at peace. It's where I feel joy. Um, it's what I can do to organize my thoughts. It's what I can do to prevent anxiety. And it's basically self-medicating. Running is a sanctuary for Ryan Gaiman, a place to escape a life full of struggle. Around four years old, I was diagnosed with a high-functioning form of autism by a doctor. He told my parents that I would never be able to write, that my reading level would stay around fifth grade, you know, I wouldn't have motor skills. My parents refused to accept that, and I'm thankful for that. Asperger's syndrome leaves him with severe food allergies. He struggles socially and lives with debilitating anxiety. One really good way to put it is most people have like a bucket to throw all of life stuff into, good, bad, whatever. Um, people with Asperger's have a thimble to fit everything in. Ryan's parents homeschooled him for most of his life, but enrolled him in high school in ninth grade. I had no idea how to fit in. I was very socially awkward. I was picked on and, you know, it wasn't like I was getting support in the classroom. It was just the teacher telling me what I couldn't do over and over again. I came home feeling beaten, like I wasn't good at anything. Despite the struggles, one great thing came out of his experience. Ryan fell in love with running. I think maybe uh, some of the things he's had to deal with in life, um, it, it makes running a freeing experience. Since coming to Eastern Mennonite, Ryan's hit his stride, and this year he won the Southeastern Regional Championship, booking his spot in this weekend's National Championship meet. He really inspires his teammates, not only with his talent, but uh, he works very, very hard. Running empowers Ryan, and he hopes his story empowers others. I've always struggled with why do I have to deal with this, why? You know, did God make me with this disability that's caused me so much hardship, I guess. And if I can give back and actually see how this can benefit others and do something worthwhile with it, that, that's why I want to do this. Of course, running comes very easy for Ryan, but talking to our cameras doesn't. But Ryan chose to tell his story, hoping he can turn his hardship into hope for families right here in the Valley.